Happy day 31. Now, I've got a question for you. If somebody asked you, what is your integrity worth to you? How would you respond? Would you have to think about it? Or would you say, it's worth everything. It's not, I can't put a value on it. As a leader, growing up in my industry, many times I would see people, sometimes even leaders, that would make decisions and then they would validate or justify it, even though it was outside of what might align with their integrity, right? Integrity is sort of your morals and principles and upholding what you believe to be right. And I would kind of wonder why, you know, why would you do that? And I'm not saying in any capacity that I'm perfect and I'm not saying that I've never made a call that might have compromised my position and my integrity. Uh, I think that anybody who would say that would be incorrect. There's situations, depending on how you're looking at it, you probably could have been uh, compromising. What I found as a leader though, same as a mother, right, and as a wife, I'm in that role. I am that being 24-7. So every decision I make, whether I believe it directly or indirectly impacts somebody else, it sets an example. How do you want your children to grow up to be? How do you want the people that you're grooming and developing for the next roles to turn out to be? I've had leaders in my fold over the last 25 years that when they would make decisions, I was, I, I, where did that come from, right? Because, I mean, clearly they would normally make really good decisions, but if in a pickle, in a crunch, in the corner, I wasn't understanding how they were validating or justifying the decisions they made. And nearly every time it came back to an example of a manager or a leader that they had, that that's how they decided. So as you're making decisions, remember that. It reminded me of a situation I had where I had a salesperson with a customer and the customer had a bit of a chip, if you will, on the shoulder. And in order for the salesperson to make the sale, it seemed that this customer had this expectation of a fallen hero, if you will. Meaning, uh, there was a situation as a leader, I'd had a conversation with them, and they were questioning whether I was being honest or not. So, in kind of collaborating with that salesperson, it became, well, what do they want from me? What are they looking for from me? And their perception was for me to admit that I said something that was not true. And I looked at them and I said, look, I won't do that because it's not true. I didn't tell them something that was untrue. I will be honest about that part. Could I have done, could I have looked at this? Could I have done that? Sure. But to go and say, I apologize, I wasn't honest. I'm not going to do that when that's not true. Uh, so, and why? Because nothing's worse, worth my integrity. You know, it reminds me of that commercial with, uh, I think it's MasterCard. And it says, you know, such and such priceless. Well, that's how I look at integrity. You can't buy it back. If you spend it in a way that doesn't serve your uh, values and principles, you can't buy it back. So keep that in mind. Uh, and to bring that full circle, my response to that customer all those years back was, you know, I want nothing more but for my salesperson to, to be able to help you with your purchase, but it's not gonna be at the expense of my integrity. I'm not going to tell you something that's not true. I, you can't buy that for a million dollars. So I hope this was worth the conversation. Uh, remember, you are a leader, a parent, a manager, whatever you do, 24-7. And what you decide sets the precedence for how other people make decisions too. Have a great day.